Hello everyone, welcome to Kakao Slide Out. I am Kakao Konemi. So, tonight I'm going to do a video reading by Pisces naman po. This is going to be a financial forecast and a um, forecast about love for Pisces singles and singles, uh, singles and Pisces in a relationship. So, again, just a reminder, this is a general reading. So, kung hindi po siya nagre-resonate, huwag pilitin. And the link to my the link to my Facebook page is on the description box below, and that'll be Taro by Kaka K A K E. So, sandali nyo, na dumihan nyo. Anyway. So, let's start for April 2019. Finances ni Pisces. Any messages, please? Dali ah. Basala natin. Okay, for uh, Pisces Finances, April 2019. Let's start. Pisces. Change is coming. So, merong, ano. Uh, this is not exactly uh, swerte. Kasi usually, pagka nakakakita ng Wheel of Fortune, swerte. Uh, this is... Uh, of the 360 degree change na situation. So, kung uh, sa finances is masyado kang kampante ngayon, uh, be, beware na meron sudden change na biglang siguro mag, uh, maghihirap ka ng konti or vice versa. Yung parang kapos na kapos ka then all of a sudden may sudden change. Uh, and uh, you will be financially stable. So, I would like to pull up a clarifier kung saan, okay, ito, <laughs> so, hindi, hindi pa ako nagtapos magtanong, ito na, tumilapon na, Hierophant reversed, so, maybe the change has got something to do with, ano, the people around you, uh, siguro masya, masyadong marami yung, ano, yung namimihasa na provide ka lang ng provide, o bigay ka lang ng bigay, or pwedeng ikaw rin to na makakatanggap ka ng reprimand, uh, pagre-reprimand ng iba, maybe ikaw lang yung hingi ng hingi, or ikaw lang yung palaging nasisave, ikaw lang yung palaging, um, tawag mo to, palaging nalilibre. So, this is the out of the usual na, ano, na situation. So, um, if tao to, maybe merong someone around you na parang dati mo pang pinapalampas kasi ayaw mo ng gulo or ayaw mo lang talaga ng ano ng, kasi kaya mo pa kaya mo pang i o kim kimin yung galit mo, yung inis mo but in this uh, case may change na may wheel of fortune na so maybe uh, Pisces uh, aabot ka sa point na mag enumerate ka na ng ayaw mo Parang ito, namimiyasa na to. Ito ako nalang palagi bumibili. Ito ako nalang palagi nagbabayad. So, ganun na yung, ano, yung situation. Again, this is a general read. So, pwede ikaw rin makatanggap ng ganun. So, baka ikaw naman yung um, i-reprimand ang iba. Na parang relax ka masyado. Ha? Ba't di mo kaya gawin to Gawin yan. Ganito, ganito. So, yan ang magiging um, focus ng change sa finances mo. So if this is a business um uh, if this is a business uh situation pwedeng may ka socio ka na ikaw na lang imbis na socio parang ikaw na lang sumasalo lahat tapos parang namimihasa na na porke nag-invest siya wala na siya hindi na siya ka-effort so baka mapuno ka na uh, sitahin mo na or pwedeng ikaw rin to na ano ikaw yung masyadong relax ikaw yung masisita so, take it however it resonates. 
And what you need to do about it is to put your swords upright. So be direct, be honest, and be straight to the point. Wala nang paligoy-ligoy. Kung may parang may na, napapansin ka na sandali, ba't ganito lang, ba't ganyan? So, be honest sa, sa approach mo. Just parang ito, pag nakikita ko to na, na approach is yung yung hindi masyadong seryoso, lighthearted lang. Parang dinadaan sa sa joke, dinadaan sa immature na no way yung pag pagcatch ng 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 sinabi ng iba. Pwede ring ito yung ano yung masyado, yung hindi masyadong mag-iisip, hindi masyadong siniseryoso yung sinasabi. Pero alam mo kung saan ka lulugar pag ka-pencil swords. And what I like about this is yung keberna na nature ng Page of Swords na I'm honest, I know what I'm doing, this is what I think it is, sasabihin ko, bahala ka kung anong feelings mo, basta ito nakikita ko, ito naobserbahan ko, ito sa tingin ko ang nangyayari. Ilalahad ko yung lahat sa'yo, parang ganun yung, yung Page of Swords. In a way, parang ina-advise ka ng, ng baraha, Pisces, na kung wala kang ginagawang masama, kung wala kang tinatago, wala kang dinadaya, wala kang sinasaktan, then go ahead and say it. Be honest. So, kung may magalit sa'yo, problema nila yun. Get? So, if you're going to do just that, eto, may three of sorts. This is the rejection slash sadness slash worries. Um, if you'll notice, uh, naka, may puso na tinusok, di ba? So, This can be something na physical or emotional na 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 heartache. So maybe kung ano man tong pag-uusap or me- message na kailangan ng straightforward na approach, maybe mayroong something rin na sasabihin sa iyo na makakapagbigay ng heartache. So if medyo high blood ka, so prepare and uh, parang huwag mo masyadong bibibin, huwag masyadong seryosohin, kahit ganun ka, kahit ganun ka sakit. Um, or warning na rin, na bago ka mag-confront, bago ka makipag, um, bago ka mang-reprimand, parang timbangin mo na sa sarili mo, ikaw ba wala ka bang kasalanan? Bago ka mag-enumerate ng kasalanan ng iba, ikaw ba wala ka bang ginawang balay? Kasi baka mamaya pag, pagdating ng rebattle, hindi mo kaya. So, pwede rin emotional na heartache to, na akala mo ganun yung pagkakaintindi mo sa sitwasyon, then all of a sudden, nung, nung direktahan mo ng tinanong, direktahan mo ng sinabi kung ano sa tingin mo nangyayari, yung yung reply na matatanggap mo, hindi mo kakayanin emotionally. So, bottom of the deck is the, kuan, what's this? star upright. So, parang, well, Major Arcana siya. So, and Hierophantus, Major Arcana, Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. So, pagka maraming Major Arcana sa, ano, sa, sa spread, it usually means na merong major na mangyayari na. Parang change ng chapter ng life. Parang aalis ka na sa sitwasyon na to para dumating ka naman dito. So, Um, in a way, ang magiging pos- positive na part ng heartache na to is, you'll know kung sino yung pagkakakatiwalaan, you'll know kung sino yung hindi, you'll know kung ano yung lesson na parang um, sa tingin mo mat- magagamit mo in the future, just in case you're you're going to encounter the same situation. Or, uh, this can also mean na, ano, yung heart ay kasi usually yan, yung ano, yung parang wake up call. Na ito na lang palagi nangyayari, routine na to, tapos may napapabayaan ka, may na-overlook ka. So parang wake up call na next time pag nangyari to ganito na gagawin mo. Kasi, yun nga, nasaktan ka na yun. So parang, ano lang yun, diba? Yung, yung, alam mong, alam mong madada pa ka dyan banda, alam mong madudulas ka dyan banda, so matapapunta doon. So, parang ganun. So, there, that's for you, Pisces, and your finances. And, if you, let's proceed na kay, uh, I was about to say Aries, pero, um, love life ng Pisces single.
Kasi, dali at malamig na kape ko. Okay. <clears throat> Pisces singles. Any messages for Pisces singles, please? Ito, huwag kang lumabas. Five of Wands, competition. Let's see. Pisces singles. Messages for Pisces singles, please. Five of Wands yung, ano, playful na pag <clears throat> lumabas ulit. Three of Swords. Dali ah, tatapusin ko na lang. Last card please, for Pisces Singles. Okay. Dalawa yun itong nilakon, Judgment Reverse, and Justice Reverse. Hmm. Ano to, may babalik ang kadate. Judgment um, Reverse, ito yung ano, parang issue na supposedly pag ganyan, ano yung issue na tapos na, let go mo na, parang bahala na kayo dyan, ito ginawa ko, uh, Diyos na bahala sa akin kung ano, kung, kung kailangan ba kung parusahan or not. Pag ganyan, hindi, parang pinuputok pa rin ng butchi mo yung issue na yun, from your past. Tapos may justice reversed pa. So, this is, maybe you have been treated unfairly before, hindi ka pa nakaka-move on kasi may three of swords pa. So, parang, um, since nasa advice naman yung, kasi kanina sa finances, result to siya eh. Uh, outcome card, uh, outcome yung placement niya. But this one, it's in the middle, so it's the advice card. So, ang ina-advice nito is, wag mong madaliin yung pag-move on. So, kung meron pa talagang, ano, meron pa talagang heartache, kung meron pa, pa talagang hindi matanggap, um, huwag pumasok sa ibang relasyon just for the sake of, uh, maybe kasi matagal na matagal na yun, kasi judgment, judgment card na yun, reverse na yun. So, maybe matagal matagal na yun, tapos kahit hindi ka pa nakakamove on, parang irarationalize mo na lang na, eh, 19 kopong kopong pa yung, yung issue na yun. Pero deep inside, uh, my heartache pa rin. So, parang ito, ina-advise sa'yo to acknowledge your heartaches. Kung ano man itong nakapagbigay sa'yo ng, heart, ng heartbreak, uh, do not ignore it. Kasi, let's face it, mayroon naman talagang heartbreaks na siguro kahit ilang lifetimes pa, parang feel mo pa rin. So, in this case, um, parang, ano, huwag mo siyang, alam mo nyo yung, 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 expression na show under the, under the rug yung parang eh matagal na yun past is past pero deep inside parang ba't kasi nangyari yun ba't kasi gina, ginanon ako nun ba't kasi ganun, ganun yung sinabi ko uh, acknowledge the fact na ano man tong heartbreak na to kung wala pa talagang closure then give it some closure or, or just just contact the person involved and say what you want to say. Pe, pero ano, may ano, may worry lang nga lang sa current situation. Well, maybe, ano, a five of ones is competition. Yung parang, dapat ako mauna, dapat ako nandyan, dapat yung, yung nacha-challenge ka. So, maybe, um, naka, naka-move on na si X? Ayaw mo? Sandali. Tumilapon to eh. Emperor reversed. Tapos, hindi pa ako nagtatanong. Ah, sige na, basahin na lang natin. Anyway, Emperor reversed. Clarifying the five of wands. So, natya-challenge ka, maybe may mga karibal ka na na mayayaman. Or, or, alpha de sociedad, yung ano, yung, yung, um, status tapos ikaw hindi so parang nacha-challenge ka parang tinatanong mo Pisces, am I worthy of his or her time uh, wala, wala akong binatbat sa mga karibal ko kaya ano, kung workaholic ka ngayon Pisces, wag ka parang kung hindi mo alam kung bakit workaholic ka, maybe subconsciously gusto mong mag-improve talaga yung finances mo kasi may may something na gusto kang balikan na ipapamukha mo na 
at hindi ka kayaya. And then, Ten of Swords. Hmm. Oh, may, may, may justice card. Reverse, di ba? So, this is injustice na hindi pa nasetto. Wala pang, kung sa korte pa, wala pang verdict. Tapos, may Ten of Swords reversed. So, something from the past na betrayal. So, nanggagala iti kasi di ba talaga pa isis ano. Tapos, world card pa. So, kinonfirm lang. World card is completion. Reverse, hindi pa tapos yung business na yun. Yung parang hindi, wala kang karapatang mag-move on kasi hindi pa tayo tapos. Parang ganun yung, yung, yung situation mo, Pisces. Tapos, eto, goal, ten of pentacles. So, merong money, sadness over something na hindi mo nakuha. So, I'm sensing here, Pisces, um, may gusto kang i-confront, pero ayaw mo na i-underestimate uh, ka. May gusto kang balikan na bakit ganito ginawa, ba't ganito yung nangyari, anong, anong, parang, in a way, anong kasalanan to. Pero ayaw mo yung, all, ayaw mo yung, ma-ignore ka because you're, you're a nobody. Parang ganun. Siguro nakaka-intimidate tong, ano, tong, kung sino man tong ex na to. Or, pwedeng, baliktad. Pwede ikaw, Pisces, you're having these pentacles, established ka na financially, tapos merong uh, unfinished business with someone na parang gusto niya yung attention mo, ayaw niyang ma-ignore mo siya, kaya banat siya sa work niya, banat siya sa finances niya para pag kinonfront ka na niya or pagka nagkaharap na kayo, he's not someone na, ay, past is past. Hindi siya yung someone na bala ka dyan. Plan, I don't want to do anything with you anymore. Parang ganun. Ayaw niyang ganun yung maging approach mo. So, take it however it resonates. Excuse me. So, there is a possibility na ikaw tong gustong may, may gustong balikan tapos ayaw mo lang na i-underestimate uh, ka tapos i-ignore ka or vice versa. Or maybe ikaw tong Pisces ang nagiging intimidating para sa kanya na gusto niyang maging important siya uh, socially para pag nagkaharap na kayo, hindi siya yung kaya mong isnatin. Ganon. So, there. That's for you, Pisces. And, uh, Pisces in a relationship, please. Seven of one, C. Or seven of one, seven of cups. Reverse, si partner mo. So, merong uh, confusion sa emotions dati. Na ngayon, parang klaro na sa kanya. Ano ka talaga feeling siya sa'yo? And, on your part, Pisces. Pisces in a relationship, please. Pisces in a relationship. Queen of Pentacles. So, this is, um, parang kinonform lang yun sa singles, ha? So maybe most of you, uh, most of the Pisces nowadays are working hard for the money. So <clears throat> you're trying your best Pisces to be financially independent for your partner. And maybe yung effort na to nagbibigay ng clarification sa way ng uh, yung emotions ni partner towards you. Let's see. This card wants to come up. Three of Wands. So... Maybe, ano, dati turn off na si partner. Then, all of a sudden, may ginawa kang effort na parang nag encourage sa kanya to proceed with the relationship. Tapos, right now, he or she is thinking with, uh, I mean, he or she is thinking about inquiring something new or finding something new to do. Maybe with you. Ah, oh, with you kasi partner. Partnership. Read to. Katingan na. I've actually read somewhere sa comments ng isang tarot reader na kapag nagbabasa ka ng baraha tapos makatay ang ilong mo it means wala nang hindi mo pa nalalaban yung pumdam 
<laughs> ano, uh, parang konektado ka sa spirits, sure ba? Parang ganun. Kasi, after ko magbasa, hindi siya kumakain. So, maybe. Anyway, sa part mo naman, Pisces, um, Ten of Wands reverse, this is yung state of mind mo. So, yun nga, uh, your current situation is you're working hard for the money, tapos ang, set, ang mindset mo is Ten of Wands, maybe to get rid of the burdens. Siguro bayarin, obligations na kakailangan ng budget. So, let's see kung anong gagawin ni partner to help you or regarding this. Knight of Wands reversed. So, ito yung ano. Um, yung i-let go muna yung ano, pagiging adventurous. Yung pagiging walwal. So, maybe um, ilalesen yung lakwacha, ilalesen yung gimmick, ilalesen yung yolo-yolo mode. Pero, ang pangit lang sa kanya is alam niya kung ano yung ititigil niyang gawin which is yung nga yung pag-gimmick, yung barkada, yung yung lakwacha, yung gastos na walang katotoran. Pero hindi niya alam kung ano yung sisimulan niya o kung saan siya activity dapat magko-commit. So, yun ang parang ano niya. Uh, action ni partner mo. And on your part naman, Pisces, you're going to end something. Tapos, ang kasunod niyang card is I, uh, Five of Swords is arguments eh. Tapos, ang kasama niyang card is the Empress and the Knight of Swords. So, maybe This is letting go of the mother figure. So, tapos Knight of Swords is travel or opportunities, uh, uh, travel opportunities due to uh, travel or I uh, due to work or may opportunity sa malay- malayo na kailangan ng mabilis ang pag ano pag of the decision. So maybe Pisces you're thinking about leaving home or separate uh, separating from your mother perhaps this mother figure or siguro ano yung kasi nurturer your yung empress eh. so maybe masyado kang binebaby ni mama tapos you want to let go of that that ano connection for the sake of growth, personal growth. So that's what I'm sensing sa part mo naman, Pisces. Ang tate. Ang tate. Ang sarili ko. Awil ko. Anyway, so, ang common goal nyo ni partner is, okay, justice, fairness, balance, um, give and take, a relationship, na parang dati nyo pang goal, judgment. This is something na, ano, yung parang na-evaluate nyo na na dati ganito, ganito ginawa natin, hindi to malab. So, maybe this time, iba naman. So, this is actually good kasi parang ano, may mutual understanding kayo ng partner mo na ito na muna gagawin natin to even out the situation. Parang ano. So, let's see. Advice kay partner mo to improve uh, your situation together. Kasi, remember meron siyang ano, Knight of Wands reversed. So, meron siyang, alam niyang, may kailangan siyang tigilan. Maybe gastos, maybe lakwacha, maybe yolo. Pero hindi niya alam kung ano yung sisimulan niya. 
So this is the Queen of Swords upright as uh, the card that represents what he or she should focus on. So maybe um, uh, Queen of Swords upright is yung pagiging independent. Pwede ring ano, the reason na hindi niya kayang mag-decide kung ano yung sisimulan niya kasi masyadong maraming opinion sa paligid. And uh, Queen of Swords upright is a card that um, uh, say, uh, states na you have to be someone who knows what he what you sh what you want how to approach it be direct about your your approach and just cut off whatever or whoever is not serving you anymore so parang maybe there is something na kailangan niyang let go let's see kung ano yun based sa mindset na sasabihin ng cards the partner ni Pisces please so, um, nine of pentacles reversed, and five of wands reversed. So, maybe, ano, hmm. nine of pentacles, so merong, ano, merong failure na parang siguro pinapamukha sa partner mo. Tapos, parang nag-aano siya, parang siguro si partner mo uh, masyadong conscious sa sasabihin ng marami. So, in this case, the cards are, are advice uh, giving her or him an advice na kung ano yung goal niya, doon lang siya mag-ano, doon lang siya mag-concentrate. And, um, huwag siya yung papa-apekto sa sasabihin ng iba. Lalong-lalo na kung gumugulo lang sa isip niya kung ano ba talaga yung gusto niya yung Ha, yung gumugulo sa isip niya habang nagde-decide siya kung ano yung gusto niya simulan. What she needs to do is the full of pride. So, this is taking a risk. Taking the leap of faith. Maybe hindi niya alam talaga kung ano yung sisimulan niya. May night of once reverse siya eh. So, hindi niya alam kung ano yung sisimulan niya. Saan siya magkukomit? Anong line of career or line of business ba siya? Um, magsisimula? or ano bang klaseng approach ang gagawin niya sa relationship niyong dalawa but this is not uh, this is a card that advises him or her to not overthink everything especially kung base lang sa opinion ng iba na wala namang binibigay na solusyon wala namang maitutulong so analyze um, his or her situation and just have faith dun sa gusto, gusto niya simulan na alam niya magpapasaya sa kanya. So, there. And now, sa advice naman sa part mo, Pisces, regarding this um, partnership. For you, Pisces, ang kailangan mo daw i-focus is message for Pisces, please. Okay. This card wants to show up. Okay, Ten of Cups. Maganda. So, you have to focus on the overall emotional uh, security and um, fulfillment uh, within this partnership. So, anong dapat mong um, tutukan uh, mentally parang yun, ano yun dapat mong isipin palagi let's see advice please for Pisces two of cups reversed so parang hmm, siguro nagkaroon ng, kat, ng tampuhan nagkaroon ng confrontation hindi pagkakaintindihan pero since the ten of cups is here na so, this is almost like uh, uh, an assurance na itong pagkakalabuan na to is not necessarily magtatagal. So, yun yung dapat mong isipin palagi yung, yung naging away nyo, anong natutunan mo dun? Ikaw ba talaga mali o siya? So, ano bang dapat mong i-improve 
um, uh, on your part to show your your side of the story or to show your your um, share of emotions. So then, okay. Ang dapat mong gawin is Three of Cups. So, this is reunion, celebration. So, yun nga. Re- baka may kampuhan na nangyari. Tapos, um, siguro, alam mong mali ka, or siguro, ano, um, ikaw yung mas nakakaintindi sa situation ni partner. So, be that na lang. Parang emotional support na lang. And, uh, what you need, what you need to do is, uh, Three of Cups. So this is celebration, wedding, reunion, or anything na nagre-require ng party or gathering. So concentrate on the something that you should celebrate together. Maybe may goal kayo na na recently na na achieve nyo. Tapos um, gusto nyo ng uh, um. Siguro ano, parang yun na lang yung compensation sa away nyo. Parang nag-away nga kayo pero i-disregard mo na natin kasi kailangan may i-celebrate tayo. Or parang kung nawawala na kayo ng, ng uh, positive emotions towards each other, then maybe Pisces you need to front na ipagpapatuloy pa natin yung away natin eh na-achieve natin to. So why don't we celebrate? Parang ganun. In a way, parang, kang, parang ina-advise sa'yo ng, ng baraha is to yung ano, yung manuyo ka na. Parang, kasalanan mo man o hindi. Parang, ikaw na lang mag-exert ng effort. Lalo na on, on, sa, sa part ng partner mo, seems like, marami siyang iniisip, maraming nakikisaw-saw sa decisions. So, here is the outcome. Possible outcome if you're going to do as advice. Uh, two of swords, So, meron ng ma-acknowledge na ano, pros and cons sa situation yung dalawa. And there will be ano, yung, kung ano man yung kanigahan, ma- maiiwan na, parang ilelet go na. Uh, six of Swords is yung ano, yung paalis na na hindi mo namamalayan. So, this is some issue na, yun nga, kasi diba, ano, may tampuhan, may tampuhan, tapos, ang advice sa'yo is to, uh, reunite, or focus on something na kailangan ng celebration, kailangan, ng gathering, kailangan, i-perceive i- as something positive, so maybe, sneakily, um, kung ano man tong kanigahan na to, parang, sneak, parang, secretly, discreetly, i-ignore nyo. Parang yun. And then, ang final outcome is the best thing. Give and take. Equal give and take. Six of pentacles. So, parang, kung ano man yung naging issue, parang, lesson na yun, hindi na natin pag-uusapan, hindi na natin uutingkayin. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to do my part, you're going to do yours, and we're going to share the responsibilities together. So, there. That's for you, Pisces, and your partner. And now, uh, if you like that video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you like uh, to suggest any uh, topic for video readings and choose a number readings, I'm actually doing, uh, I'm going to do one after this. So, stay tuned. And um, if you have any suggestions for the video readings, uh, choose a number readings. Please comment down below for private readings. The description box is where you can find my Facebook link. And um, hindi po ako masyadong nakakapag, ano, nakakapag-read recently. Um, if you'll notice, bago yung ano po. So, naglinis, naglaba, and uh, nagpahinga muna ng utak. Kasi, ano, masyado ng maraming kanigahan. Uh, tapos... Um, nahirapan po ako maghanap ng kandila. Maraming nagbakaloriat recently dahil sa recognition day. So, walang masyadong kandila sa downtown. So, parang tinitipid-tipid ka rin yung kandila. Anyway, 
I think that'll be all. And then, um, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you're going to subscribe sooner or later. So there, that'll be all. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.